it going you guys? The one MFP here. I hope you're all having a great day today. So I'm back to react to some more Hua Chen Yu. Uh, this is going to be my third Hua Chen Yu reaction. My first two were to Nunchucks and Wayfair. I thoroughly enjoyed what I heard in both performances. Both were very emotional. With Nunchucks, we had a story being told where someone was giving you perspective into their upbringing and into their life in general. With Wayfair, it was a bit more self-reflective. It's a song from the perspective of somebody who's lost and who doesn't know where to go. They look back at their past and they find that they were hopeful, but they now find themselves in in a position where they're a bit more hopeless. A lot of that has to do with him feeling like he's not in control of his life and he doesn't have enough of a say in where he goes from where he's at. Life turns him into what he is based on a bunch of variables. So as much as he tries to turn into what he wants to become, um, those variables have a major impact on his life and it turns him into something he didn't expect to be. So all that to say, both songs carry very powerful messages. Hua Chen Yu found ways to deliver those messages in ways that really captured the audience's attention. He really makes the subject matter relatable for the listener, and in consequence, the listener is really able to feel the emotion behind the song. There's a lot that Hua Chen Yu does to contribute to that, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to this performance and see what he does this time around. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome to MFP Reacts. My name's Matt, I post reaction videos on this channel, so if you enjoy that type of content and you like what you see in this video, please take the time to check out some of my other reactions, and if you enjoy those, please hit that subscribe button, I always appreciate the support. Now let's get right into this reaction. I don't think I mentioned yet which song I'm gonna be reacting to, uh, the song in this case is Child. It's probably the one I saw the most requests for. After this reaction, you guys let me know what other Hua Chen Yu songs you would like to see me react to. Now let's get right into it. Child performed by Hua Chen Yu at Singer 2018.
树上，枯叶不知道挂着，往下何方？雨声破的昏黄，贴窗了好几个。My goodness, man. How are you just sustaining that? Nice. That was really nice. Oh, what? Oh, wow. So another beautiful performance here by Hua Chen Yu. I'm seeing some reoccurring themes here, especially if we consider Wayfair and we compare it to this song. We see him referencing innocence. We see him referencing the winds of time. I think the limits of human nature is something that really resonates with Hua Chen Yu, which is why he's opted to go for songs like this. Once more, he was able to target the emotion behind the lyrics and he was able to just take it right out of the song display it on the live stage and make the listener really feel what he's thinking. One of the things that really impresses me about Hua Chen Yu's performances, especially if I'm looking again at Wayfarer and this one, he has this understanding of how to use his voice to create an environment. With both songs, I was getting this impression that um, we were in this environment where things were just getting carried away. And in paying attention to the lyrics, I really feel like that was a conscious decision. That's really the environment he wanted to set up and that's how he wanted the listener to feel when listening to his voice and listening to the song as a whole. Now to get into the lyrics, he starts off the song with innocent eyes open against the wind, a child tries to wiggle free. The interesting thing about this to me is that he uses a child as the reference point. With Wayfarer, he was talking about an innocent person but this innocent person was his present version of self. The way in which he was using innocent there was to say that he finds himself in a situation but he doesn't have so much control over that situation. He doesn't feel like he's at fault for where he's at and his explanation for that was life happens and life contains a bunch of variables and essentially those variables are what made up this predicament he finds himself in. Also in that song, he uses a younger version of himself to describe a version of himself that was more hopeful because he felt like he had more control over his life. Now in this song, he's using the child as a reference point for someone who's already being affected by the winds of time. The impression I got out of this was a child comes into the world with a certain set of characteristics already assigned to it. A child doesn't get to choose its family. A child doesn't get to decide whether it's born into poverty or into royalty. A child is born into a certain set of circumstances 
and it has to live with those circumstances. It needs to move from that point on. Now, whatever decisions the child makes from childhood until adulthood and beyond that, those decisions are going against the winds of time. You know, time is also affecting the course of this child's life. So when he says a child tries to wiggle free, I see it as the child is trying to work against time here. He's trying to do certain things and the wind is pushing him in another direction. And that's also what I made of the child smiles by himself and points into the distance line. I think that has to do with, you know, the direction in which the child wants to go. The child is trying to go in a certain direction, the wind is pushing in another direction. And then he follows that up with the, the carriage is rocking line. So the carriage is rocking back and forth and I see that as the struggle between where the child is trying to go and where the wind is pushing it. He then follows up that line with overturns the anxiety of several people. So I think this has to do with people looking on to what's happening to this child and knowing exactly what this situation represents. They have seen this happen in other cases. They have experienced this themselves. So no matter how much those people try to help, no matter what kind of input those people try to give, they can't stop the wind. It's just an inevitable part of life. And that's where the song goes into this section that I feel is supposed to make you feel powerless in a certain sense. We've been talking about how you can't stop these winds. These winds are going to be working against you at times and you just have to accept that as part of your life as it is part of life. So then he just gets really light with his voice and he sustains it in a really beautiful manner. And it makes you feel like leaves are being carried away in wind or something. And I just found that so fitting for the message of the song. And that's part of what makes these Hua Chen Yu performances so powerful. He just knows how to extract the messages of these lyrics and turn them into sound to give the listener a full image of what's going on here. And in the next verse, he carries on on the same topic. It starts off pretty much the same way. The child is still looking on with its innocent eyes, uh, you know, waving its hands against the wind, trying to evade it. This time around, he uses a tree with, you know, some leaves hanging on to it uh, to explain how the wind even affects that, you know, things that are pretty much stationary in life, they still get affected by the winds of time. So not only do those winds of time affect our lives, they affect the things around us, the things that we expect to be there. It just has this constant effect on our environment. And what I found really interesting about that is he uses this idea of environment to segue into something else about environment. He talks about messy buildings and how they cast the shadow over people's faces. And as such, whether they're one way or the other, they appear similar. I found this to be a very poetic line and it's quite ambiguous, you know, there's multiple ways you could look at it. In one sense, you could look at it from a point of view perspective where you're looking on onto these faces and these shadows that these buildings cast, they hide faces. So all you could do is kind of make up what they appear like with your own imagination. In another sense, it can be that everyone's perspectives are limited because of these shadows. Um, so people act in similar manners despite different beliefs and values because at the end of the day We're not looking at people based on what they are We're looking at them based on what we perceive them to be and with a metaphor like this He's saying that our environment shapes our perception So I found that really beautiful and then we go into these lines about are you gone? Are you gone? I am back. I couldn't help but relate these lines to Wayfarer um, you know, where he talks about going on to the mountain and going on to the ocean. In those cases, I saw those lines as, you know, he was just going to allow himself to be taken wherever life takes him. Here in these lines, it seems like, you know, wind is pushing him away, but he's finding ways to redirect himself to where he wants to be. So when he says he is back, he's back in touch with where he's trying to go. So it ends on somewhat of a positive note. But the general idea of the song and what the emotion behind the song is trying to get the listener to feel, in my opinion, is that it's a constant struggle. As a human being, we are a smaller entity and something much larger. Our actions only dictate so much. We have to work around, work against, and work with a multitude of things. And here in this song, he's using the wind and the environment as a metaphor for explaining those variables that hold such strong impacts on our lives. That's what I made of the song. Once more, Hua Chen Yu finds a really effective way to tie in the emotion behind the lyrics into 
his body language into his facial expressions and of course his voice so you know he just ties all of those things seamlessly together and he captures the audience and the listeners attention it becomes so easy to be moved by his performances because of the ways he ties these things together that's what i thought of this performance let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below you know i always love seeing what you guys have to say please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it i always appreciate the support and I will see you all next time. Have a great day, y'all.